Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming. Welcome to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Look, if you're playing as a victim, there are some things you need to know about this game. Each one of our victims will have different stats. So today, I want to kind of give you a rundown on all of the different stats and some tips and tricks on how you can survive as a victim so let's go once again thanks for watching everybody without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get started let's start off with the victim stats let's start off with connie her toughness is 20 endurance 25 strength is 15 proficiency is at 35 and the stealth is at 30 now each one of these characters is going to play differently depending on their stats right so choose wisely when you are playing a game let's move on to our next victim Leland, his toughness is going to be 20, endurance is at 30, strength is at 40, proficiency 25, and stealth is at 10. So, once again, choose wisely. Stealth, really not his thing. Now, when we move on to Anna, she has some pretty decent stats. Toughness 35, endurance is 25, we have the strength at 30, proficiency at 20, and stealth is at 20. So, almost kind of like almost an all-around character. Now let's move on to Sunny. Sunny toughness is going to be very low at 15, but endurance and strength is high at 35. Proficiency is going to be at 25, and his stealth is going to be at 15. And then we have Julie. Toughness 25, endurance 30, strength 15, proficiency 20, and stealth at 35. So she's really good at stealth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you play as a victim. I've been captured by the Slaughter family, tied up tortured and left for dead. You must do whatever it takes to escape the family's property at all costs. Find your friends, hunt for life-saving items like tools, bone scrap, and health. But more importantly, locate and open up escape routes before it's too late. The family is hunting, so move quietly and make the right decisions. Your life depends on it. Stay quiet and hidden. Move slowly and carefully to avoid making excessive noise. Use shadows and tall foliage to stay hidden. Take cover behind tall objects to break line of sight. And last but not least, use the environment to your advantage. Wall gaps, crawl spaces, and unique hiding spots like freezers, armoires, and even vehicle trunks can be used to evade the family. Use them. Watch out for objects that make noise. Moving too fast through the environment can spell disaster. Searching for items slowly will drastically increase your chance of survival. Even moving too fast through doors can give away your location. So stay calm and move quietly. The family is always listening. Find useful items. Tools can be used to break locks on doors. Health items can heal you. While bone scrap can be used to sneak attack or even confront the family directly. These items can mean the difference between life and death. You can only carry two items at a time, so choose wisely and try to plan ahead. Unlock exits. The heavy metal doors almost always lead out of the basement. Find and open them. Once upstairs, keep moving if possible. There are multiple escape routes located on the outer edges of the property, so find a way to open them. Some escape objectives, like the fuse box and water valve pump, require specific items to activate them. These items can be found scattered around the property. Be on the lookout. Escape the family. Having trouble finding an escape option? When in doubt, head towards the main road or rear gate. Those are usually the easiest option, if you can get there. The water valve gate and the basement door exits are also available options if you can find the necessary parts to activate them. The basement door requires you to find and repair the fuse box, while the water valve gate needs the pressure valve handle to open. Once fixed, the escapes will open up for you and your team. Use your abilities to stay alive. Used at the right time, they can mean the difference between life and death. Be careful though. Star sign abilities have a cooldown that will prevent overuse, so plan wisely. Remember, you have been captured, beaten, and tortured, so your injuries are severe. You need to escape before you succumb to your wounds. As the match continues, you will start to bleed out more and more. Be wary of leaving blood trails behind. You can be tracked. 
Health items can slow this process, but you can't stop it. Escape is the only option. Finding fellow victims and working together is recommended, but not required. Grouping with teammates can have a multitude of advantages, but your total noise output might also increase. Choose your strategy wisely. The only question is, who will survive? And what will be left of them? So boom, there you have it. That is how you're going to play as a victim inside of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carbo Lamp. A little wide variety of videos, ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.